everybody. Welcome to the Improv Summit. We are back with round two with Brian O'Connell, who is, there he is. There he is. We are going to do something exciting that I'm actually excited about, and Brian kind of suggested it, so uh, I can't take the credit for it, but I love the idea. We're going to do a couple of different scenes here, and then at the end, we're going to kind of break down a little bit of what we did, what our choices were, all that kind of stuff, so you'll get an idea as we go. But I thought it would be take two. I thought it would be fun to uh, give Brian, uh, gift him with something, an opportunity for each of the three scenes. I'm not going to say which scene is which, but uh, just to he, he's he's a, he's a he's a an improviser who's been around the block a couple times, so he knows he knows some improv things uh, like yes and and listening and all those things. So. Uh, the three things I'm going to incorporate, or I want you to incorporate uh, at any point in any of the scenes, they can be one per scene, they can be any scenes or whatever you want, is one scene is um, I uh, want you to not uh, speak, uh, as far as not speaking, but um, not doing a lot of responding. You can respond, uh, but it's not a lot of conversation. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, gotcha. that I think you, gotcha. I think you get what I'm saying. <laughs> I do. I do. Um, in one scene, I want you to discover uh, a way to say the line of uh, Jane Austen is my favorite. Um, <laughs> just discover that in one of the scenes, how to incorporate that. However, however, that may work. Uh, mm -hmm. And then the third scene, uh, or these could again, all be in the same scene, I, whatever floats um, is I'm going to give you a really bad direction for how to play a character. And I want you to just go with it what you will. Sure. I want this character to be um, a disorganized yet clean uh, person. Disorganized yet clean. It's a terrible description because it's the exact opposite, disorganized and clean. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could even go as far as saying messy and clean, a messy and clean person. Mm -hmm. Um, no, that's which, good. That's that's a that's a that's like a Michael Bay direction. Yeah, it's, great. Uh, I love it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, he, he he did that once to 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 Sean Connery on The Rock. He was like, "Hey, this next take, could you make it a little bit more funky? You want me to make it funky? All right." You're <laughs> just like, I'm sure he broke how it down. How do you tell Sir Sean Connery to be? How do you tell James Bond? You're like, make it more funky. Right. Ugh. All right, yeah. Pete John Connery, am I right? Yeah, buddy. I mean, he was he was a right bastard, but he had one of my favorite quotes of all time where uh, he was being interviewed on a morning talk show, and they were like, hey, the, you know, the, the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, is this going to be like the X-Men? Is this going to be like, you know, uh, uh, is this going to be like, you know, a new franchise? What the hell are you talking about? I die at the end of the film. He's like, oh, no. <laughs> Just spoiled it. Morning of Friday morning of the premiere on television spoiler alert my character dies enjoy the movie everybody that's uh, so funny he also hated he hated making that movie they're like oh what was it like working with this director he was like oh there were a lot there were a lot of lovely people who worked on that film ask me about someone i like mm. Just, i actually no shit's left now that i think about this i want to change one of those things i gave you so cool. i want to keep i want to keep the messy and clean guy Messy and clean um, guy. And then what were the other? I don't even remember what the other two were now. <laughs> I do. It's like you wanted me to not talk a bunch. Uh huh. Also, somehow working. Uh, Jane Austen is my favorite. Yeah. Keep, keep, and keep, then clean and organized. Yeah. Keep Jane Austen as my favorite. Keep the clean and dis clean and disorganized. But instead of not Copy. talking, what I want is for I want you to do the whole scene um, without looking at me. Whether it's Perfect. you're facing away from me, you're not looking at however that whatever that means to you, but the whole scene, you've got to feel my emotion or feel whatever's going on. I don't want you to see anything I'm doing. Ah, you don't want me to see you because I'm not looking at you. Correct. Dope. I got it. I got it. So I think that's cool, I think cool, that's cool. more fun than just not talking in a scene. I mean, it depends, but I could have done both. That's okay. Uh, like I you just said, realized. I'm I've been around for a long time, which is a yeah. polite way of Spencer saying I'm old. Yeah, or oh, experienced, God. you know. Uh, this, is, <laughs> this is like uh, experienced in sign language, and it makes me think of like old gray, like uh, oh. like you're graying, so you got like experience. <laughs> but, you know. Sure. <laughs> uh, you know, every, every gray hair is a, a piece of wisdom. 
It's a golden nugget mm -hmm. of knowledge, but it's just yes, experience. yes, experience. You know, <laughs> you know I, language. my mom thinks I look old because of my wrinkles. So, um, cause apparently I have more wrinkles than anybody my age. <laughs> Thanks mom. So, uh, you know, but you're she's also Greek. To be her, you're oh, that tracks. All right. Yeah. She's Greek. I, well, I'm, I'm Irish. I'm Irish Catholic. We have a different sort of thing. Like ours is more, um, I carried you under my heart for nine months and this is the way you treat me. Ah, that's the, that's the Irish slash Jewish way, you know? That's yeah. The, mine's the, mine's the Mediterranean, very blunt, uh, parent. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look how fat you are. <laughs> oh, like, oh okay. I, we could talk about this all day because I remember my mom at one point, I, I like, I, you know, I act and I do shows and all this stuff and sure. she came to one of my shows and at the end of the show, you know, she's always like, um, she's like, oh, great job. You know, parents are always like, oh, great job. You're so good. You know, my mom, one time she goes, wasn't your best performance. And I was like, okay, mom, thanks. So it's funny because people, people are like, your parents are supposed to love you, uh, you know, everything you do. And I'm like, I understand that. But my mom will tell me when I'm not doing a good job. So if she says I'm yeah. good in something that I'm actually doing a good job in something. And that doesn't, it's not like that. I love my mom. It's not that that happens all the time. It's just that, oh, that one time I remember. And I was like, I was like, ah, great. So my mom is actually being serious when, <laughs> when she says she likes something, she actually means it. I can tell. Yeah. My, my mom's thing is always just like, oh, it was so funny. It was so great. And when it wasn't, she'd be like, well, I just, I just don't understand it. I just, mm. I just don't know if I, I just don't know if I get it. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, that's, oh, that's you being try but no I, I also knew it was hot garbage let's go get a sandwich <laughs> mm -hmm. there you go <laughs> let's go out let's go out to dinner uh, all right should we jump into cool, this cool so we've got um Jane Austen is my favorite um uh, disorganized yet also clean mm -hmm. and then one where I just I'm not allowed to look at you correct copy got it got and it, got uh it. we'll get suggestions uh another question is do we want to do any kind of genre or do we want to just go with the flow and see what happens based oh, on let's go with the flow i mean we have the things great all right things. yeah that's too no, let's not do too much on there i guess <laughs> yeah let's not put a hat on top of a hat well you have the hats i have nothing so <laughs> true i do other have than hats. they're not in here but. hopefully figuring out uh, not figuring out but you know discovering along the way all right sure um so we've got uh we could do one of each if you want um but uh, do we want to just get three suggestions and roll off of it or just do three scenes based on one suggestion i'll uh, we'll do three uh, based off of one because that's more uh impressive great and i know <laughs> that you i know that you love a good edit so if you find that moment to edit it go for it <laughs> gotcha um, like, do you want, yeah exactly literally just edit it uh, do you want a, a location, a relationship, or a word to get us going? Oh, let's do a word if we're doing all three off the same one, yeah. Great. The word is hacker. 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 Awesome. Thank you. Hacker. Yeah. How's it going, man? It's good. It's good. I, I think I finally cracked the code. Shut up! No way! No, yeah, I, I definitely, I think I finally got it. I think it was nine eight one six two four all along. We were putting the three in there, but it was actually a four. That damn three, that damn three the whole time, man. Wow! How do you do it? I don't know how you do it, man. Like I don't have like the, like I. It takes me eighteen hours to do what you just do, like naturally, man. You're like a, you're like a hacker king. You're like, you're like Matthew Lillard and John Lee Miller together. Yeah, Rocco, that's kind words. I really appreciate it. But you know, I couldn't have done it without you. You're like, you're like the best sidekick, like the best sidekick. I, I got to be honest. Like, I no, couldn't have done man. it. No, you got the like, nine one eight six. No, I'm like, I'm not even. I'm not Nightwing to your Batman. I'm not Robin to your Batman. I'm no, no variation of it, man. I'm like. At best, I'm like Commissioner Gordon. I just like turn on the light and then you come in and I be, I'd be like, man, I got no, I got nothing. The Joker's going crazy in the city. Help me. I can't do shit. At, at best, at best. See, Rocco, this I'm is Commissioner what I love. Gordon to your Batman. This is what I love about you. You are just completely modest. Like you are too modest. You are a big help. I, I mean, like I said, you got nine one six, nine one eight six and two. All I got was the four. I mean, you did most of the heavy lifting here, which I guess but in a way, four, Commissioner Gordon kind of does, right? 
What? 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 What did you say? You go first. I said, but four was the key. But you said something along the lines of like, Commissioner Gordon. Yeah, yeah. I, I said, I said what I said was like Commissioner Gordon. I guess in a way, kind of is like that person, right? Because he kind of runs the city. So I guess in theory, you're running the whole city, even if you're not solving the crimes. You're you're running the city, right? So you ran the whole the whole you know number system, and I just solved it. Huh. Hmm. I guess I did. You sure did. All right. Okay. I got a lot to chew on now. I got a lot of like, thank you, man. Like that's just, see, that's just another example, man. You found the four, but I found that you are for me. <laughs> that's my edit. <laughs> Great edit. Okay. <laughs> Good old fart edit. Can't go wrong. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's keep uh, another scene, I guess. Let's jump into yes, it. Yes, as my old, as my old editing teacher Julian Similian would tell me, add farts. Farts are funny. When in doubt, add farts. I mean, I do find farts pretty funny in movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, he he edited Maniac Cop three, so he definitely knew about comedy. <laughs> oh, there you go. I yeah. sure don't even know what that is, but all right, sounds great. Yeah. Sounds well, wild. it's the third in the Maniac Cop series. Not to be mistaken uh, exactly. with RoboCop or Kindergarten Cop. It was made in the wake of RoboCop, the same ah. way in the wake of Jaws, there were a lot of like sea creature movies in the way of John. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah. it features it features an undead uh, zombie New York City cop that can't be stopped, can't be reasoned with, very like a Jason Voorhees with a badge and a gun, and a uh, a very young, playing it straight Bruce Campbell is the lead that's great when we were editing we had mountains of cocaine on the editing machines and we would just stay up all night editing the movies okay julian uh cool the suggestion still was hackers yes yeah hacker yeah or hackers yeah yeah man i mean back in my day man when i was working at like you know dell you know that was the shit right there, man. We were uh, we were beating them off, you know what I mean? Beating off the ladies, you know. Yeah, I, I got to be honest. Uh, you're you're just too cool for school, man. I mean, I I don't I don't even know. I gotta like look up yeah. to you, and I just I don't even know if I can do it. You're just too cool. Nah, man. Hey, you know, uh, it's tough, you know, because at that time, you know, like we were we were running everything, you know, like it was the height. It was the height of those commercials, like, dude, you're getting a Dell, you know? And it was just like, everyone was like, oh, you work for Dell? I'm like, yeah, I do. And then, boom, next thing I know, I'm in some strange woman's apartment. Get an it, it, it on. You know what I mean? Yeah. We were kings. I feel like, I feel like, and this might be too, like, too, like, forward, but I feel like this is how I kind of uh -huh. feel about you, man. I feel like, I feel yeah. like you're the Jesus of electronics, or at least electronic stores, you know, like like Radio Shack, a Best yeah. Buy, Dell. Like I feel like that's I feel like that's you. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I can get down with that, you know, like, but nobody would betray me. You're not my Judas, right? <laughs> You're not my <laughs> Judas, right? Don't be my Judas, man. <laughs> <not yet. laughs> nah, nah, nah. Jesus, you know, it's hard to be at the forefront of electronics, just like it's hard to be at the forefront of everything. You know what I mean? Like, mm. you know, you have to like. It's like being a poet, you know, or being an author. You know, Jane Austen is my favorite. Everybody knows that. Plus, when you uh, when you tell chicks that you're real big into Jane Austen, totally in there. You know what I mean? But like, you know, Jesus, Gandhi, Steve Jobs, me. You know, like it's uh, it's tough being a visionary, you know. But you'll get there. I believe it. You know, a lot of people think you have to be born a visionary, but it's a lot of hard work too, and you put in a lot of hard work, man. I see it. A lot of people don't see it in you, but I see it. You know, some people would say that I, I work just as hard as a carpenter, but I feel like that's, again, going back to the whole like Jesus thing. And I feel like that'd be more of you hardworking like a carpenter. I feel like I'm see? more of like a, like see, a water. Right there. Water and right the wine. Right there, that, that carpenter bit, but not, nah, it's the same thing. Jesus being a carpenter was part of his shtick, you know? Like if Jesus was a banker, it'd be a different story, you know? Like 
him being, you know, him being a carpenter, him being, let's be honest, a stepson, also a big part of the, of the mythology. A lot of people don't talk about that, you know, right? Think of how many people have been adopted by men that were not their father, but they ended up calling them their father. That's huge, you know, that's huge. If I was going to adopt a son, you know, I mean, I don't know if I have any kids. I probably do. All the poon I've gotten over the years, I probably at least have one kid I don't know about, you know what I mean? You know, but uh, if I ever adopted a kid, I'd be like, hey, man, I might be the Jesus of Electronica, but right now I'm just a Joseph about to become the stepdad to the new Messiah. That's me. Do you, sure. do you, do you have a dad? Yes, I, I do. I do. His name is uh, Mike. Um, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, yeah. It's nothing. Yeah, no, never mind. But I mean, I mean, you know, I, I could always use a cool uncle. Maybe you want to be a cool uncle. I mean, you're already pretty cool. I mean, you just you want that title? Oh hell yeah! Oh yeah! Of course, I want to be a cool uncle. Look, man, we just we just elected the coolest uncle of all time, President of the United States. Man, Joe Biden is the cool uncle. He's the guy that like. He'll give you your first sip of beer and be like, don't tell your mom I did this. But also like, he'll be like, really on you? Like, are you, are you, getting, are you staying in school? You get good grades? What do you mean you're going to a state college? You're smarter than that. You can go Ivy. That's the guy, man. Yeah, that's the dude. That also sounds kind of like the guy from uh, King of the Hill. What, Hank? Hank Hill, who like can, you know, throw back a beer, but is also like, uh, oh, not my son. Yeah, he's big into Tom Landry the Dallas Cowboys, but also like he voted for Governor Ann Richards twice. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's yeah. like, a, like, like reading like an Anne Rice uh, vampire novel, but also uh, watching what we do in the shadows. Yeah. Yeah. I like Anne Rice. I mean, Jane Austen is my favorite, but Anne Rice is good too. You know, especially when she like steps out of her comfort zone, you know, writes about stuff that isn't, uh, you know, those guys. Yeah, yeah. Have you heard of uh, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies? I bet you have. It's a Jane Austen meets zombies. What? Yeah. Is that a real thing? Yeah, it's real. They, they took a, they took Pride and Prejudice. Is that a real thing? It's real. Are you telling me that it's like Jane Austen, but like, but like in The Walking Dead? Yeah, combine the two. It's like a romantic zomdrom. I gotta go. That's amazing. I, See. <laughs> See. I literally ran to my I literally ran to my kitchen. That's so funny. Uh yeah, that I, <laughs> I, I, I got, got Jane Austen there twice. twice. Yeah. It actually it actually the second time I think it was like batting like well, we'll talk about it. Oh no, you you definitely that was definitely bump set spike. I was just like, oh I was like Ann Rice is great. I'm like, yep, she's an author. Jane Austen's my favorite. Yeah. Too those, easy. In fact, that was great. edit around that. Cut out that first one. Make it look like I was just a fucking genius. On yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it helped because I was like, I, if I do this, it's going to, yeah, we'll talk about it later. Let's do. Sure, sure, sure. Let's do one more. Yeah. Hackers. Yeah. Hackers. Sorry, I'm just, this is also incredible. Yeah. This whole setup you got, it's, 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 I'm just like, oh, this is just amazing. Yeah. Everything's, um, everything's exactly where it's supposed to be. But at the same time, it looks like chaos. Something I've been working on lately, it's um, structured chaos. You know, when people say, like, you got to step back and look at the big picture. Yes, that's that's that's, that's this space. That's what I've been working on. So you just got to you just got to keep taking a step back. And then eventually the, the pattern pattern comes out. You know, what I mean? it's, it's 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 pretty it's pretty wild. I mean, I mean, this place is like super top secret. So I don't want to, like, you know, spoil any of the, no, well, the you, nifty tricks you have. But this is no, you I mean, you figured out the. You figured out the the riddle and 
you know, the riddle inside the treasure hunt inside the uh, cryptic messages I was leaving around. So like, I mean, you earned it. Feel, feel free. You know, yeah. Well, thanks. Uh, yeah, look around. Course. Look around. Help yourself to a fresca. Like whatever you need, man. Like, God, you have fresca here. Oh yeah, love fresca. Uh, I love the. Have you ever had the, a fresca? Yeah, the tangerine flavor is my favorite. Ah, uh, I see. You were uh, you're one of those guys that the uh, new school goes for the flavored frescas. Yeah. Nice. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. nice. I think I think you know yeah. I, I think I think I know what it is. I, th I think I've had a couple before. Yeah, it's not that Lacroix shit. Yeah, none um, of that. Nah, that's just fresca, the true sugar-free, caffeine-free, grapefruit-flavored soda. Yeah. Watery thing. Yeah. I had to start. Yeah. I mean, take as many frescas as you want with my cholesterol now. I can't have it. I'm on Lipitor. So, you know, basically, if you take uh, basically if you take any kind of statin, you know, medicine, you can't have grapefruit because it'll turn toxic in your system and kill you. And That's with his, so with his, yeah. wild because I can't do yeah. grapefruit either because I think, uh, you know, I did like the elimination diet thing, uh, a little bit of it. What's, like what's that? Acid. It's like where you like take out some foods to see what's kind of upsetting your stomach and then you like put them back in uh, to see if that's what it's doing. And a lot of acidic things were not digestible with me, like lemon in water and grapefruits. They're just a little too acidic for me. And I was wondering why I was getting process so of elimination. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was getting so bloated. Right. So like I totally like get it. Like grapefruit is just not for most people, I guess. <laughs> yeah. You know, I never, you know, because of my agoraphobia, I never leave this space, but like. I noticed that too, like when I'm working out on the treadmill and stuff, you know, try and keep my exercise up and uh, that water weight, you know, if you were having citrus stuff and that wasn't digesting, it was making you bloated, man, nothing's, uh, nothing's more frustrating than being able to try and kick that water weight. You just can't, you know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's wild because like, I love, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I love apple juice. Apple juice is so good, but it's full of so much sugar that I feel like the sugar starts to bloat me and then the acidity of the apple. But like, apples aren't really that acidic. So it's weird that the apple juice is so acidic. But like, I guess that's just why, you know, I'll just take a, a regular old apple. That's like the big juicy apple. When I'm, when, I'm, when I'm dehydrated, you can get that to get a little extra juice in there, a little water that's healthier, but also maybe not just yeah. plain water, more flavorful. Like a, like yeah. a fresh water. Yeah, I remember reading an interview with a guy like, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 years ago. He was talking about like how he lost a bunch of weight, and they asked him without fail. They're like, they're like, what's what's your biggest thing? Like, what's your craving that you still get? He's like, oh, without fail, juice. He's like, I miss juice so much. Whatever, I have a craving for juice. He's like, I used to drink orange juice, apple juice, just like gallons of it, you know. And so, uh, what he would do is like, whenever I have that big craving, like if it's just pushing me to the point, or he's like, I don't want to be three hundred pounds again. I'll just have a piece of fruit. So. If it worked for that guy. Probably gonna work for you. It's a, it's a good good sentiment. I think I'll have yeah. to take that. You know, yeah. I, again, I still can't do the grapefruit thing, but I mean, an apple sure. probably will work. Maybe, yeah. maybe. Well, then you probably sh you well, probably shouldn't have any of the fresca then. You know, but uh, feel free to look around, take anything else you want. Again, like you, you, uh, you broke the code. You found my secret lair. So, because uh, Sukas, I guess. Cool. I mean, I mean, can I just take the whole setup, or like, is that yeah, is that what I want? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's, I mean, that's part of it. You know, like, if you, I'm not like, I'm not like one of those shithead eccentric millionaires who's like, if you don't, I'll give a million dollars to me, and then Welsh is on it. No, I told him if people could, if people could find out my real identity and find out where I am. It's all yours, brother. I'll build a new one. It's cool. Jason it's Hackman. I gotcha. Jason Hackman. Yeah. Yeah. And see, I thought, and I thought it was like a fake name, but it's like legitimately your like actual birth yeah. name, Jason Hackman. Yeah. It's hiding in plain sight. It's the best, uh, best way to do it. And yeah. It's not a clever nickname because of like, you know, this isn't, this isn't the 1400s where it's just like, oh, that's Jeff Cobbler. What does he do? He makes shoes. He makes shoes. Mm -hmm. I was thinking peach cobbler, but you know, I guess the shoe cobbling cobbling makes a lot more sense. That's one thing I was never able to hack. Was how to figure out how you got uh, how we got as a species to be like cobblers make shoes, and also 
it's something delicious you put in your mouth, but not she related, completely different. Yeah, but here's a question. And I've always wondered yeah. when, when did grapefruit exist and why, and why do people like it so much? Like, was it around in the 1400s? Was there like Mary grapefruit or did that just come about later? No, they, they got it. Like anything else, you know, it's all the spice trade, you know, the whole reason, like the whole reason the peppers are called peppers is because Christopher Columbus to justify, you know, his trips to the new world to savage it, you know, uh, was like, oh, this this has flavor and taste to it. Must be pepper, because that was the big thing they were trying to find. They were trying to find spicy, yeah. Kind of like how a fresco is a little spicy. Yeah. Get that little like extra like something in it, where you're like, yeah, you're not really sure what it is. I guess it's like the grapefruit, but it's 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 like yeah. you're like, huh, weird. Yeah. It's like we're doing a Seinfeld bit right now. Like, oh, what's the deal with grapefruit? Oh. <laughs> you already have grapes. You already have fruits. What's this thing about? All right. Why don't yeah, they just call it? Why don't they just call it big lemon? You know what I mean? Yeah, like pink lemon nade without the aid. Just the pink lemon. Wow. Now I can. Now I see how you found me so quickly. You're sharp. You're sharp. I mean, the riddle wasn't that hard. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm more of a math and science than an English guy. Probably should have, probably should have asked someone else to do it. Anywho, gotta go die now. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my edit! <laughs>